This is an Arizona's Family News Update. And good evening, everyone. I'm Brandon Lee. These are the latest stories that we're tracking right now from the Arizona's Family Newsroom. Lori Vallow has pleaded not guilty to felony charges for allegedly destroying evidence, all in connection to her kid's death. Uh, Vallow once lived here in the valley with her two kids, Tylee and JJ. They went missing for months before they were found dead in Vallow's husband, Chad Daybell's backyard in Idaho. He pleaded not guilty to the same charge. Right now, neither of them are facing any charges in their kids' deaths. And their trial, it begins in March. Last year, 1,500 Arizonans died by suicide. That means, on average, a suicide occur occurred every six hours in our state. And that was before the pandemic. And that's Governor Ducey saying that suicide is the leading cause of death for Arizona children and is especially prevalent for kids ages 10 to 14. Arizona, by the way, ranking toward the bottom in the entire country when it comes to the ratio of students to counselors who can often spot troubled kids. Last year, the governor signed off on a budget that provided a total of $32 million for schools to pay for those resources. There was no increase to this year's funding. And now to the very latest COVID-19 numbers in our state. 461 new cases were reported today, along with 22 deaths. The weekly average positivity rate reported from the state's health department has us holding at about 4%. The seven-day rolling average from Johns Hopkins University shows that we dropped from 7% yesterday to just about 6% today. ASU has suspended six kids for COVID-related violations. The school says four happened off campus, two of them on campus, and right now it's still not clear what exactly they did or how long they're going to be suspended. Well, we had another day where we stayed in the 90s today. 93 are high at Sky Harbor Airport after a morning low of 69 degrees. That's below average. Now, we are going to warm up a little bit over the next couple of days, but temperatures, at least we're not going to be doing any record setting. In fact, tomorrow's going to be mostly sunny with a high of about 99. We're back to triple digits on Saturday with a high of 103. And by Sunday afternoon, we're looking at 106 degrees. Royal, thank you for updates on the stories we're tracking right now. Just download our app, subscribe to our YouTube and our Roku channels. I'm Brandon Lee. Have a great night.